Okay, I'm finishing up an optional operation right now um, on one of the, uh, the, the two foot diameter pieces, uh, circular pieces that we have here. And this is the base of our turbine. Um, this is what's going to, you're going to, you know, fix down to wherever you're going to mount your, your turbine. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm cutting this eight inch circle out is because um, it gives you access to, to mount your hardware from underneath the turbine. Now, uh, it really, uh, you can fit this in, there's going to be an opening in the side to also, so that's why this is optional. If you're using the, 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 uh, the fixed magnet alternator, it'll, it'll fit whether you do this or not. Uh, this might make it easier for you. Um, and, if, and if you're one of these, uh, one, of, one of the people that are going to use the option of using the cheap DC motor, now these can come in different lengths, and if it gets too long, it's going to be hard to stick that in there and rock that into place. So you probably do want to cut out an 8 inch circle there, just so you have access from underneath to match your hardware. So let me finish this up. Uh, you might want to review our earlier uh, videos on uh, that's showing you my techniques for cutting out circles using the router. Um, I'm just going to finish this up real quick and uh, safety glasses, hearing protection. so you should have a handle on that. You're just going to set your diameter to 8, and that's where I have mine. And even that 8 isn't critical, it's just, it's just clearance to, to, uh, so you can uh, have access from underneath. you're going to need it to have access from underneath if you're using the, the longer fixed magnet motor uh, go ahead and cut out your uh, eight inch uh, diameter on that uh, on that bottom piece there and I'll see you in the next section